Hey YouTube, how's it going? It's Quinton here and welcome to tutorial number 19 and in this tutorial I'm going to show you guys how to work with colors in HTML and CSS. Okay, so before we get started I just want to explain that I do have a div tag in my body uh, and inside that div tag I have a paragraph tag that just says working with colors and if I go over to uh, my CSS file, then I've already styled my div elements to have a height of 250 pixels and a width of 250 pixels. Now, the only reason I did that was so that we'd actually have a big block uh, that's going to show color whenever I change background colors of my div. Okay, so now let's actually talk about the colors. And you guys have probably noticed that every time I've changed the background color or the color of my text in the previous tutorials I always had to use a preset color like red or blue or green or yellow or something okay but the web is actually so much more colorful than those simple HTML presets so let's say I wanted to change the background color uh, before I'd go ahead and type in background color and use a preset color like blue but now I don't get to choose what shade of blue is going to appear. It's just going to be the default uh, blue, which is like this really dark link color. So if I go ahead and click refresh, um, I've got this really dark blue. But like I said, the web is so much colorful than so much more colorful than these uh, presets. Uh, so instead of working with an HTML preset like this, there are two other options that we can use and the first option or the first uh, way to change colors is the hexadecimal color value so I'm going to speak to you guys about that or uh, if you don't want to use hexadecimal colors you can use something called an RGB color value and I'm going to show you guys how to do that as well okay so let's just take a look at hexadecimal colors first and basically what a hexadecimal color is um, it's basically like six characters but they can either be um, numbers like numbers one to nine or letters from A to F uh, and if you guys wanted to go ahead and get a hexadecimal color you could go over to Google so you could go ahead and just search for um, like hexadecimal colors and uh, you could go ahead and there'll probably be a color chart here so color picker and uh, you could go ahead and just pick one of these colors and you'd get a color that looks like this uh, but what I would prefer to do is I go over to any image editing program so right now I'm using a program called GIMP uh, but sometimes I use Photoshop as well. Actually, most of the time I use Photoshop, but GIMP is free. So uh, any of you guys that are watching, uh, if you don't have the money for Photoshop, go ahead and uh, download and install GIMP. And if you ever want to get a HTML color, go ahead and kick, click, click, not kick, on the uh, color palette over there. And whenever you move your color around here, you can see that under HTML notation, we've got this number that's going to change and uh, basically whatever this number is that is the code for the color that you are seeing uh, in the actual current color uh, palette or color block okay so I'm gonna go ahead and actually just copy this uh, color 00BAFF uh, and that is gonna be this uh, really light color blue that I use in uh, pretty much all of my uh, HTML thumbnails and if I go over to CSS, instead of using this uh, preset color blue, I can go ahead and use my actual uh, hexadecimal color value. But you can't go ahead and actually just paste in your color value. Whenever working with a hexadecimal color in HTML or in CSS, you actually have to put in a hashtag just to tell HTML that whatever comes after this is going to be a hexadecimal color so basically hashtag color and uh, you're sorted so 
Uh, now if I go back to Firefox and click refresh, instead of having that like really dark, horrible blue, I've got this nice, uh, easy on the eyes, light blue. So that's much better. And like I said, uh, we don't only have to use hexadecimal colors. So we could go ahead and use um, something called an RGB color value. And I'm going to show you guys how to do that now. Uh, so let's go back to Notepad++ and instead of using a background color of uh, hashtag whatever, let's go ahead and take that out and we'll type in the letters R, G, B, which stands for red, green and blue. Uh, and then you're going to open up your parentheses and then you're going to have to put in three different values. So the first value is how much red you want in the actual um, color, then how much green do you want in the color, and then how much uh, blue do you want in the actual color. Um, but if you go ahead and leave this at 0, 0, 0, then that means you're actually going to get black. Uh, so let's go back here and click refresh. And as you can see, 0, 0, 0 on an RGB chart is black. And if you go ahead and change this to 255, 255, 255, uh, then that will be white. And you can't have a number higher than 255. 255 is the uh, highest number you can use on an RGB color value. So just in case you guys are wondering. And now you can see that it's actually disappeared completely because we made the background white. Uh, but if you guys want to actually get like a blue or a green color in between all of that, um, you can go ahead and use GIMP or Photoshop or something again. And whenever you change colors over here, you can see you've got R, G, B. That's your red, green and blue color values. And that's pretty much where you'd be able to um, basically get your values that you're going to need. So right now to get this, uh, let's actually change it to like a green color. Uh, if we wanted this a really bright green, uh, then we'd need a red value of 12, a green value of 255, and a blue value of 0. So if I go back to Notepad++ and I go ahead and say 12, 255, 0, I should get that really bright green. So let's go back here and click refresh. And as you can see, we've got that really bright green showing up. Okay, so uh, that's actually all I have for you guys in this video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Please feel free to leave a comment, like and share the video. It's really going to help my channel grow. And I'll see you guys in the next video.